Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at the Hikvision DS2CD model. Uh, this is a genuine IP camera and when I say genuine, there is kind of a problem nowadays as uh, all IP cameras that are sold on the market are still called IP cameras but they are actually cloud cameras. Uh, you no longer have access to a camera browser with an IP uh, that was uh, old school technology and uh, new uh, producers have thought that that kind of configuration for a camera is too complicated for nowadays uh, users and they made the cloud cameras that have a QR code, you scan it with an app and it's very simple to set it up and you are done with it. Uh, no more messing around. So this is a genuine IP camera that has a LAN connection, wireless connection. You need to connect it to your router uh, and with a cable and then you can connect to the camera browser and configure it. Configure the IP, configure settings, configure everything about the camera and then you can configure manually the wireless so the wireless will connect to your router. So it gets complicated. But these type of cameras are very good because you can uh, use them in a lot of environment so this is a hybrid camera it has uh, IP configuration it has an app you can use the app and connect to the camera you can use a PC connect to the camera but the camera can also connect to a network video recorder or uh, NVR or to a hybrid XVR and you can concentrate multiple cameras of the same type into one single recording unit and you can control all the cameras from there so it's uh, very advanced solution to use this type of camera. So let's take it out of the box. And we get a small quick start guide here and another quick user guide. And we have a drill template for fixing this. We get waterproof plug, mounting hardware, we get the antenna and a cap and also a Torx key and the camera itself there's no power supply uh, in this box you need to provide your own so the camera looks like this pretty compact it has uh, um, EXR infrared uh, it's a newer technology that uh, makes this uh, uh, more sensitive to infrared light uh, and it doesn't have that narrow cone of infrared light. It has kind of a wider and more natural looking, more even distributed infrared light. So it sees better in the dark and it's not blinded by shiny uh, centered objects. And the camera itself, it's uh, really nicely built. It's made from a combination of uh, aluminium. Uh, this is plastic here and glass lens probably. It has a pivot here to adjust the camera and you can also adjust it or rotate it from that uh, pivot there. Right, and on the cable here you get the LAN connectivity and the power plug. So that's it. The camera also has a built-in recorder and you can use a micro SD card, insert it in the camera and the camera will have its own running DVR that records on the SD card and you can check that from the app or from the other type of uh, connectivity devices such as a PC. Alright so I have found the IP address of the camera after I have connected it to my network. Uh, I just uh, search it up in my DHCP table on the router. Uh, it was easy for me to do it that way. Probably there is an app to find the IP address uh, that may also work. Alright, so when you want to access the camera, no browser will work, no modern browser. It only works with Internet Explorer. So if you use Chrome, Firefox or whatever, even Edge, you are going to get a message that the browser is not okay. And when you open the camera the first time, it asks you for a password that's going to be the admin password of the camera so I'm going to set something here all right and I'm going to click on OK 
and now you need to set up a security question and you cannot pass that so you can't leave them empty even if you write something here you need to invent something and after you enter that data you are getting this message and a screen so please click here to download and install the plugin which I'm going to do you get this notification here so I'm going to run it directly and I'm going to install it finish and I'm also going to allow this to run and I'm now getting image from the camera so it's working as simple as that I have a working IP camera but what I'm after is actually the configuration page here that it's full of interesting stuff so you get a lot of settings you get maintenance you get security you get user management you get network settings you get whole settings for the both LAN and wireless so you can connect to dynamic DNS you can uh, set up ports you can have network address translation and even there is the advanced settings where you can make it more complicated than that which I really love and there is a lot of stuff here and you can even do wireless searching and you can see other networks and on which channel they work and their strengths so you can set up your channel that is not interfering with that so it's very advanced then you have video settings and you can go to full HD here uh, as this camera supports full HD you have image settings and you have a live display here and you can adjust brightness contrast saturation exposure settings you have backlight compensation uh, you have white balance, you have image enhancement, you have digital noise reduction and you have events and in events you have motion detection, video tempering, exception and each one has its own other settings such as area settings, arming schedule, linkage method and uh, you can do really advanced things here and you also have storage uh, that's with the memory card and you can check here uh, when it's scheduled to record and you have storage management uh, here it says hard drive management but you actually I, are going to insert a micro SD card I highly recommend to use uh, high endurance uh, micro SD cards so that was it for now I hope that uh, you have enjoyed this uh, short video it's not a review it's mostly an overview of this camera and what it's supposed to do uh, if there are questions or you want to see more about this camera, leave a comment below and I'm going to try to answer you or help you with uh, more information about it. Well, until my next video, see you and bye bye!